Welcome to this series where we're going to talk a bit about advanced web apps in Angular and I'm also going to talk about different things for a backend like Firebase and some kind of backend in C Sharp as well. So we're going to try and make some advanced setups here and going to talk about some of the things you might face when you're building a more complex web app than just your basic web app. Uh, first of all, let's just have a look right here. I want to kind of start out with just talking about modularization in Angular. So I know this is very Angular specific, but still it's something that every web app needs to consider is actually how much data does my user need to get started with the application, right? So let me just try and show you a running application. This is actually an old one I built and used in a course a few years ago. Um, this has downloaded like some files here and all these files are required for me to run the application. Now in Angular, we're using what we call single page application. And that pretty much means that you pull down one JavaScript file or maybe many JavaScript files, and then you run everything from your client. Where we also have another type of web applications where you kind of get every request, you get a static page back or some static HTML, CSS, JavaScript back uh, that you present to the user. That's what we call the, the default or the server side rendering of, uh, of your HTML. And in our case, we're using single page application. So every time when I start an application, if I refresh this view right here, if I just do a clean refresh, you'll see it starts out by downloading some files. If they're already in memory, it won't download them, but in my case, they're not. So it'll download the files and then it'll actually add all these files and it needs main to run the system. It needs, in my case, we'll, we'll go over these, but these are kind of the minimum files required in my current setup for running my Angular application. And you need to download all of those. Now, if these files start getting too big, get out of hand, your, your user will end up feeling that it's too slow of a startup of your application, right? So he'll kind of have a feeling that your application is not fast enough. And that's something that we need to avoid because users nowadays, they are kind of, they are used to things going kind of fast on the web. So we can't sit and wait for, uh, I don't know, two megabytes of JavaScript files to be downloaded just to show a single view. And that's how modules can help us. But before we jump into modules, I wanna show you guys what we actually end up building with an app like the one we're building in Angular. So next lesson, let's start out with just building this app. This we see right here is actually just running my localhost environment in Angular. So right now I'm just doing an ng serve right here and then automatically it builds these files for me. Now these files are good for testing, but they're not ready to be deployed to a live environment. I'll tell you why in the next episode. So see you next time, have fun.